In this Star Trek Attack Wing unboxing, we're going over the Assimilation Target Prime, which is the collective uh, three-month grand prize. Okay, so here we have the contents of the uh, Assimilation Target Prime. It is a Galaxy-class ship that's been partially assimilated. It's got some really nice, um, I don't know if it's paint or decals on it, but there's various colors and looks like it's been borgified like that. And on the bottom and right here on the mount. So, well, it's really kind of cool. It's a little better um, looking than the Enterprise I got out of the starter set. So definitely a different color blue. And the saucer is actually hard plastic and not the soft plastic. I think the rest of the ship is still the soft plastic, but the saucer section itself is a very, definitely a hard plastic, which is kind of nice. So, not too bad. Let's take a look at the cards here. Biogenic charge. Let's use one Borg and one weapon upgrade slot for this upgrade. Seven attack, two to three range, eight points for a mirror and Borg. Let's see, in addition to the normal damage, the opposing ship must discard one of his crew upgrades of its choice for each damage you inflict to that ship's hull with this attack of max of two. Add one drone token to your captain card for each crew upgrade that was discarded with this attack. You cannot exceed your starting number of drone tokens. So that's pretty good. Um, that's a really nice uh, event, but it's only damage to the hull, not damage to the shields, but still with seven damage, you're not going to do, it would be doing quite a bit. Wharf, Mirror Universe Wharf. That's what this token is, uh, icon is right here. Um, if you have, this is, so this is a unique Mirror Universe card. So you can have a regular Universe Wharf, which is a orange, yellow star with a black background, and then a, uh, the Mirror Universe, which is a black star on the yellow background. If you inflict at least one damage to an enemy ship, you may discard this card to inflict an additional damage. For four points, Mirror Universe, eh, I don't know about that. Captain Riker, skill seven. This guy's really good. Um, elite talent, four points. For each time you perform an action, place one additional token on this card during the activation phase. You may spend one token and perform a free action. So you basically get two for one uh, with this guy. So that's a really cool uh, action economy kind of card. Regeneration Sequencers. Whenever one of your upgrades is discarded, repair one damage to your hull, or you may discard this card and spend one token to repair two damage to your hull. So, last thing the Borg need is more regeneration. Um, but it's a Borg Mary Universe, so that's kind of cool. Whenever, so, it's whenever one of your upgrades, and it's whenever you, if you discard one of your upgrades, you can repair yourself too, so that's kind of nice. We won't go back! If your ship, its captain, or any of its upgrades are targeted by an upgrade on an enemy ship, you may discard this card and immediately make one free attack against that ship, if possible. That's pretty cool. We won't go back. I love that. I love that part of that show. Mirror Universe Captain, which is Rachel Garrett from the Enterprise C, which is kind of sad. Mirror Universe Faction, which is already in the rulebook, so I don't know why they had to uh, put that in here. Uh, Mirror Universe Unique Icon, Regenerate. Borg upgrades and drone tokens. Here's the main ship, Assimilation Target Prime Galaxy Class, both Mirror Universe and Borg. Um, five attack, one evade, five hull, four shields for 30 points, so it's one more attack than the regular Enterprise D. Spin one drone token to repair one damage to your hull or shields. So we've got a crew, two weapons, tech, and Borg upgrade slots. And instead of a battle stations, you got a region. Here is the Mirror Universe Enterprise D which has one more attack and one less shield than the um, uh, prime, time, prime Timeline Enterprise D. And you don't get that 360 attack during the roll attack dice step. You may disable one of your active shields to go one plus, plus one attack die. That's kind of cool. Kind of like a mini stock Scotty without an action. Quantum Torpedoes, six points. Standard Quantum Torpedoes, just Mirror Universe. Uh, zero point Drone Captain. And this Galaxy class has a completely different movement chart than the first, than the original one, uh, where you have up to speed six with a red maneuver. That's kind of cool. Generic versions of both ships, both the Assimilation Target Prime and the Galaxy class. Fire all weapons. Weapon slot. Seven points. Mirror Universe. Spend your target lock and disable this card to perform this attack. You may fire this weapon from your forward or rear. You may immediately make one additional attack with your primary weapon at a different ship if possible. And a plus five points for any ship other than a Galaxy Intrepid or Sovereign class ship. So, 
that's kind of cool. Seven points. You have five attack dice from this, and you're going to get a second attack as well. Well, with your primary weapon. So that's the contents of the cards for the Assimilation Target Prime tokens. Is there anything special? So it does have front and rear target firing arcs. It's kind of new color here for the for the chit. Um, new for denial. On a second chit, because it has one for both the Borg ship and the Mirror Universe ship. With Enterprise D, Mirror Universe, and the Assimilation Target Prime. And Borg tokens. So, not very exciting. Uh, and... Nothing special in the tokens. So that's it. Thanks for watching.